the cross section look like this. Okay. So now I, we want to find. Okay, we want to find. Now I can now uh, help uh, sketch for you what do we mean by uh, shear flow. Okay. So if this is our applied load over here, this is our V in the y direction. What we have over here to here are known as terminus. Okay. And the shear flow is going to flow in this direction. This is known as your Q, which is your shear flow. I told you it's like fluid flow. Okay. Now, regarding rule number one. So, for example, now we are interested to find, okay, we are interested to find the, the, the stress at point, uh, point alpha. Okay. We are interested to find the stress the shear stress at point beta and the shear stress at point gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma are arbitrary points. Okay, arbitrary points. So when we apply the formula, okay, we, 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 we apply the formula. So we are going to find the shear stress uh, is acting on the intersecting plane is X and it's in the y direction and at alpha okay so this is equal to b y over i z z q z divided by t alpha okay and i'll tell you where is t alpha okay so t alpha is the distance from here to here So this is your T alpha. Okay. And then next, I'm going to write out the formula for shear x, y, and we're going to look at point beta, okay. V, y over I, z, z, okay. Q, z, T beta. Okay. And then the T beta, as you all can guess, is this distance. Right, so that is our T beta, and then the shear x, y, and your uh, gamma is equal to V, y over I, z, z, Q, z, T, gamma. And you can see that for this case, T beta is also equal to T gamma, right? You can see it's the same, okay? So regardless of the point that you are interested, okay, all these are constant. Okay, all these are constant. Okay, whether you use alpha, beta, or gamma, the values are always the same okay rule number one okay very very important number one now the next thing that we are going to look at okay is where this topic get really really confused okay is the first moment of area q now before i go on okay i let your copy first uh, sir, how is T beta equal to T gamma? Because the thickness is the same. Oh, okay. Okay. 
okay? Take notice to say. Oh, okay. I, I think I think I confused it with um um T T alpha. Ne never mind. Okay. Okay. So the most confusing part, okay, in this topic is the first moment of area. Okay, first moment of area. Q okay, is really, really confusing. Okay. So the general formula is Q is equal to A Y bar. Okay, that is the general formula, okay, where A is known as the uh, defined area and Y bar is the distance between the global centroid and the uh, area and the defined area centroid. So the units down here is meter squared. This is meter. Okay, so the units for the first moment of area is meter cube. Okay, now why this is uh, very difficult to find? Okay, or why is it confusing? Okay, so uh, I've, I've posted this diagram on Avenue to Learn. Okay, you can get this diagram easily. Okay. It's on week three lecture, yeah? If you, uh, week three. Uh, uh, rule number two, I've not spoken of it yet, okay? <laughs> I will tell you when is it rule number two. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when. Okay. So this cross-section over here, right? Our, our, you can see the, the transformation. Okay, let's, uh, we can see the transformation. The transformation is Y Z rotation in the X. Okay. So that this so now rather than a T like we have earlier, right? Now our cross sectional area is a, a, a rectangular. Okay. So this is our cross sectional area. Okay, and we have our force okay, coming down in the y direction. Okay. So this is our vy. So when it's vy, right, when it's vy, the stresses that we are calculating is shear. Right. XY is also equal to shear YX, and this is equal to VY over IZZ QZ divided by T. Okay. So the thing to remember is the shear force in the Y, the second moment of area is IZZ multiplied by the first moment of area QZ divided by T, okay? So now let's focus this, uh, these two terms, we don't need to worry, constant, yay, constant, but I've not told you how to find second moment of area yet. I will teach you, do not worry, okay? I will teach you, okay? So now we want to find what, what is QZ. Okay, what is what is QZ? 
So cues it. is equal to a y bar. And qz is known as the first moment of area. Okay, first moment of area. About the y axis. Sorry, about the z axis, sorry. A. So the distance to take note, okay, so the, the fixed axis is the Z axis. Okay. The gray portion, the darker gray portion that you can see, okay, this is the defined area. Okay. That is the defined area. And the defined area, right? The the, the size, the, the 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 depth is determined by y. Okay. And the centroid is determined by y bar. Okay. The centroid is determined by y bar. Okay. Now that is the uh, area. Later on, we were we were we were derived. An expression for it. Okay, we will we'll get it. Now, now you know that the first moment of area is about the z axis, right? Okay, now I'm going to now change the shear force is coming in by the z axis. Okay, why I'm going to introduce that because in real world, you're going to work this out in 3D. Okay, there's no 2D problem in the world. Okay, 2D problem, I mean, you can enforce it to be 2D, your structure will be simplified, okay? 3D, you can do complex structures, okay? We are not doing just simple structures, we're going to do complex structures. So now, the next one we're going to do is now, I'm going to draw the same diagram, okay? I'm going to draw the same diagram, similar diagram, not the same. So this is our y and this is our z. Now, okay, now the shearing force is coming down in this direction now. Okay, the shearing force is in this direction now. Uh, I'll, I'll offset a bit, okay? Now it's coming down in what? Z direction. So your formula changes now. Okay, your formula changes now. So the formula changes. Okay, so now we are looking at a shear. Right, shear. The plane is still x, but the shear stress is coming in the z direction. Okay. And this is equal to Vz over Iyy now. Qy divided by T. Okay. So Qy is equal to A Z bar. So what, what do we mean by A uh, Z bar? Okay. It means is the first moment of area. about the y-axis, okay, about, so the, 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 the axis that's fixed, yeah, I'm going to draw a longer line over here, okay. so the axis that's fixed, consider the, the first moment of area, so this axis is fixed, Okay, so 
if if I'm going to draw a, 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 a green line. If this is the area of concern, 